or a rocky uh, first ra first race, uh, everything should uh, be pretty smooth sailing from here. All right, here we go. Races are going in the immediate arena. Um, King Torch are going to fight for the shield spell. It's an interesting decision. I don't think shield spell is particularly valuable on Coda. Um, doesn't protect you against misbeaten gold deaths, which are some of the most common culprits for Coda deaths. Yeah, uh, Akane gonna consider that shield spell again, and ultimately just, yeah, just keep on with it. Akane going for the Frost Familiar, which um, I think is an interesting choice. I'm personally not a big fan of Familiars on Coda. Uh, they tend to muck up my movement, but both races are actually gonna take it. Going for that up frost, um, up Snowbrew. Kane gonna bomb this crate, and there's our first death of the tournament. King Torture going down to a misbeat. Kane doing a little bit of uh, exploration, killing some extra enemies here. Maybe looking for his chest. It might be in that back cave there, which would be kind of a pain in the butt. But gonna get to his boss room, his mini boss here. Both racers fighting the dire bat at about the same time. Kane gonna get it. And is going to be the first one down to 1 2. Finding him, we need Conjure. We'll see what he goes for here. Um, I think there's pretty much anything is fair game here. Um, King Torch are going to go for a ring. The Kane doing the same. And they've got a. Okay, this this is something that could that kill them if they're not paying attention to. They've got the Frost Familiar Ring of Frost combination. The familiar could very easily freeze something and then make it die in the next hit. So it's something you need to be really careful about. Okay, Kane, you know, being good about that and uh, gonna get the kill. Oh! <laughs> but as I say that, King Torture going down to exactly that. Not expecting the one shot on the dragon. And uh, down he goes to the dragon's gold. But a Kane with the glass torch, very strong item for Coda. Helps prevent uh, nasty surprises. King Torture going down again. Got to um, <laughs> one of the one of the hardest part about Kota, about Coda is uh, you know, <laughs> in, in fact, in racing in general, one of the hardest things to do is to recover from tilt after you take a nasty death. And on Coda, you're going to be taking those all the time. So being able to handle unexpected deaths is uh, something that's going to serve racers very well in this event. Oh, and a cane going down. Oh, I forgot to update King Torture's flag. He's been on 1 2 for a while. Yeah, see, I'm... this is hard to keep track of. Hopefully, I'll get better. Um, cane going down again. So far, though, a cane is winning. He was the first one to get down to 1 2. So, um, that will remain the case until King Torture passes that point. Which it looks like he is possibly on the verge of doing so. Getting his lucky charm off that red dragon too, making good use of the frost familiar. And King Torture is down to 1-3. So he's going to take the lead here. Much more minimal build than Akane was amassing, though. Akane, you know, find that Glass Torch, which, as I've mentioned, extremely strong code item. Um, King Torch, at least finding that Obsidian Torch, which is, you know, pretty much the next best thing. For all intents and purposes, it's the same as the uh, Luminous Torch, because you're pretty much never going to be dropping your Multiplier. Not taking the Ring of Frost from the Conjurer this time, though. Uh, doesn't want the want another Trolley Death like he had last time. Okay, King Torture playing it safe here, backing up into the shop. And okay, looks like a cane is getting close to 1-3. King Torture is down to Death Metal. It's Death Metal 1! Kane is on to 1-3. Death Metal 1 is going to be tricky. Uh, trips up a lot of runners. Fastest song in the game, and on Coda, the uh, March of Error is pretty small as far as timing is concerned. <laughs> Good use of the Frost Familiar, though, and is going to be on to 2-1. And a cane goes down again, back to 1-1 one, one for a cane. Time almost half up, we're uh, about five and a half minutes into this first race. King Torture on to 2-2. Two, two.
McCain following his, following his steps here, getting the Rare Frost again. Wants that uh, easy, those easy kills. King Torture down to 2-3. Looking to make this floor pretty short. Making good use of the, really good use of the, uh, the Ice Spirit. Whoa, that clone coming out of nowhere. Gonna take it down, Bat, blocking the exit. <laughs> and King Torture's on to 2-4. And it's Kanga. Okay. Oh, this fight's being a little scary. But handles it. Gonna have to walk around his big pile of gold, though, but is going to be on his own three very shortly. Gonna check his purple and gets the Ring of Peace, which is an excellent fight. So King Torture on to 3 1. He's looking really good here. Akane still has yet to even see Death Metal. In the shop here, finding a nice blast helmet. Gives him a, a nice panic button. Uh, Bay, uh, King Torture using that Ice Spirit familiar very effectively. King going down again, and King Torture on 3 2. Just over five minutes to go here. Oh, a glass shrine for King Torture. That's probably worth taking. Get the glass jaw and the glass uh, torch. Interesting to see. He's, looks like he's not thinking of. He's not considering it. But gonna go down to 3 3. Finds grenade charms. Very effective boss killer. And he has 11 bombs to go with it, although he does have Blast Helm. And on to 3 4 is King Torture. Just under 5 minutes to go. Oh, forgets the Blast Helm. Thankfully, his dagger wasn't covered in gold, because that was a bit of a sloppy kill. But gonna be going down to zone 4. Continuing to make very good use of that uh, Ice Spirit Familiar. King Torture keeps this up, though. We could be seeing a clear in the very first race of the tournament, which would be uh, absolutely insane. Of course, you know, I probably just gave him some commentator's curse there, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Heavy glass preventing the... Oh! And stepping onto gold! So back to 1-1, back to one, one, and I don't think it's likely we'll see him surpassing that 4-1 flag plant. Um, it's not very likely that... Um, that a cane is going to reach that point either. Um, keep in mind, he needs to not just reach 4-1, he needs to reach 4-2 in order to pass up King Torture here. <laughs> it's uh, it's looking pretty grim for a cane here. Three and a half minutes remaining. Yeah, that Dire Bat <laughs> causing a lot of issues here. But, okay, yeah, we we are at under three minutes remaining. So... Looks like they're going to play this out, though. I think a cane is determined to reach this death metal fight. It's looking pretty good. Alright, there we go. 
A cane reaching one four. Oh, I accidentally reset the timer. Damn it! I probably need to unbind that. Oh wait, no, that was not. That was one two. I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay, we're. This is you know this is our this is our preliminary. We're uh, we're just working out the kinks here. I'm gonna unbind my uh, timer reset. I'm just gonna um, make it so that I have to do that manually. Thankfully, Necrobot does have a have a timer. Okay, I can did just forfeit anyway, so they're gonna call it that. I gave them the option of uh, of calling it because a four one flag plant is um, pretty untouchable at that point. So yeah, that's gonna be GG's to King Torture, who is going to um, be playing in the uh, rest of the tournament. So uh, give me a second while I set up the next.